Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever around the world. Whatever time you're watching this video, good something. Today's video is this super snazzy, glittery rainbow wing in the crease. I've been loving these kind of like editorial graphic liner looks recently, and I wanted to do my own version. I have to first of all apologize about my voice. It is very croaky. I'm getting over a cold and I'm just losing it. So um, instead of resting it, I decided to film a video. You could easily just use one color in the crease and just do the color like this. It doesn't necessarily have to do even me glitter, but I wanted to do the rainbow. Like why not? It's fun and it's cool and it actually makes me feel really, really happy. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start this eye look, I'm going to be using an eye primer. This is the Revolution Eye Primer. Usually I wouldn't set my eye primer base because I like quite a tacky base for my eyeshadow. But for today, I just want a blank canvas before the liner. So I'm going to go in with a colour close to my own skin tone and apply this all over the eyelid. Very primed. I'm just going to go in with a slightly darker shade in the crease just to add a slight bit of definition. I have all of my glitter set up here in a rainbow order um, and I'm going to start with the like yellow colour first. This one contains gold glitter and this is from Barry M. This is the Barry M Fine Glitter Dust in number 15. With all of my glitters I'm going to be mixing them with my um, I Candy Cosmetics liquid sugar. Just any liquid base will do for glitters, which will help it adhere better. And I'm going to start on the inner corner, and I want this to be as close to my crease as possible, but just above it, so when your eye is open, you can still see it. You want to make sure that you keep your eyes looking down to stop transfer until the liquid sugar has completely dried. Next glitter that I'm using is from Eye Candy Cosmetics. Pretty much all of these glitters, besides the first Barry M one, are from Eye Candy Cosmetics, and this one is in Taffy. I like to go in with the shade I've just used before and blend the edges of those two glitters together. So they make a nice gradient. The next colour I'm using is Peach Fizz, also by Eye Candy. The next colour I'm using is purple. This is Jelly Bean. The next one is Icing Sugar, and this is the blue we're going in with. Next one is Ballistic Berry? Berry! Ballistic Berry! <laughs> The next one is Fizzle Stick, and this is the final colour we're using, and this is the green. Okay, and then you just gotta wait for that to dry. Oh yes. <laughs> Once the glitter is all dried, it's actually quite easy to just go in and flick off the glitter that you don't want to be there. So for me... There's some which have gone a little bit astray, so I can just go in and flick those off. So now that the eyes are done, I'm going to go back to the face and I'm going to start by applying concealer, which is always going to be my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair.
And to set that all in place, I am, as always, once again, using my e.l.f. finishing powder in Fairlight. I'm now going to go ahead, curl my eyelashes and apply mascara and I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the face with you. Okay, so to start on the face, I'm going to start with some bronzer. For this I'm going to be using my NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. And I'm just going to go all the places that I would usually bronze and bronze them. <laughs> For blush, I'm going to be using the number 7 Pop and Cheek Cream Blush Stick. I'm just going to take this on the brush and apply this straight to the cheeks. And then for my highlight, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I need to use this up. It's getting really old. I kind of want to create like some freckles, like some faux freckles, and I saw, oh god, who did I see this on? Um, Mariah Leonard. Or Maria? M Maria or Mariah Leonard. I saw her use this trick, and I've been using it ever since, and it's a really good trick. And it's by using your Urban Decay brow blade. Oh, mine is in the colour Brunette Betty. And use the ink side, dotting it onto your finger. And then pressing it onto your nose or areas that you want to create freckles and it creates these really subtle freckles that look really natural I think it's because of the stain feature they stay on all day but also by applying them like this they're a little bit more random than if you came ahead and dotted them all over your face and they're also a lot softer Just like that, you can see it just has such a subtle, little, freckly appearance. So thank you Mariah for that lovely little tip. I'll link her channel in the description box so you guys can check her out if you feel like it. For my lips, I'm going to be using my MAC lipstick, which is from the Glaze Formula, and this is in Hue. 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 I'm dabbing this on very, very softly. I just want a very light pink nudie wash. And that, my friends, is the look complete. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, regardless of my really disgusting and crappy voice right now. So, yeah, I really hope you guys like this look and enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. And cheek clip. Oh, clip. <sighs>